eggplant tomatillo. That one kind of did something funky. Not sure what, but it came back with a vengeance. Tomatillo planted by seed because the plant died. So I was experimenting and my experiment worked. Tomatillo. Got more tomatillos or a little... It's all over it and that one over there too. And then another tomatillo that I planted by seed. Experiment worked. These are Brussels sprouts and as you can see, something is munching on them. I can't find any worms on them. So it's got to be cabbage moths at night are chewing on them. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to spray for these. I try to keep everything organic as possible. But there are just times when you have to break out the big guns and take care of bugs that are causing problems. And these are more eggplant that are doing very, very well. Okay. And over here, these are my cucumbers. They're kind of slow, but they're doing their thing. Hopefully, I'll get something out of them. Uh, the growing season this year has just been really weird. And then my tomatoes, I just uh, composted them yesterday because they haven't been doing so well. They're, look at them. They're, they're tall, but they're skinny and just not a whole lot of foliage on them, which is unusual. So I'm assuming that what happened is I didn't get enough organic matter into the soil before I planted so they're doing poorly but over and above that they're as far as actually growing and starting to produce some foliage they're they're doing okay this is the best one of the bunch here um i'm hoping i'm going to get some tomatoes this year is just like i said been really weird and again two more tomato plants that died right after i planted them not quite sure why and turned around like the experiment with the tomatillos i did seed directly in the ground with these to see what would happen I'm quite pleasantly or I'm pleasantly surprised by the results I'm getting with that idea. Now, over here, as you can see, a big weed patch. There's supposed to be like beets and stuff growing in here, and there are some beets in there and kohlrabi and stuff. Thank you for driving by while I'm talking. Um, but you really can't see them right now. I got to get this weeded. But it's been a Weeding this garden has been a real bastard because my arthritis just won't give me a break. And then these are sugar snap peas or sugar peas or snow peas. They're calling them. They're doing well. They got blossoms on them. And then over here, I had to beat back some fucking voles, little bastards, and I had to replant. And hopefully, I got enough time. These are supposed to be butternut. They have like a hundred day gestation or whatever you want to call on them. And I'm hoping that I'll get something out of those. But I should get something out of these two. I've got two of them here. They're starting to string out. I don't see any blossoms on them yet. And then my sunflowers are doing great. And then over there are some super hots. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the name. Gorpion. I think it's G H O R P I O N. So I think it's like Gorpion or something like that. But those are like million Scoville, which is okay. <laughs> just something to try and then the one crop that I plant out here that does very well every time I plant it I get bumper crop on these every time you can see them all the blossoms yeah zucchini they're always the first thing to come up and the first thing to produce every single time you can see a small one down there there's some little itty bitty ones in here a couple these are like small ones these would be great if you're gonna like put them in a salad or something like that. They're too big to do baby zucchinis now. But um, if you want to dice them up or uh, chop them up, there's a baby zucchini. I want to chop them up to uh, put like in a succotash or maybe to do uh, fried zucchini sticks or something there. I'd like to use the big ones for that because they're kind of, kind of a waste to use them for anything else. So, but these are my golden zucchini. They're not doing so how they're growing really slow. And I'm not sure exactly if I know the reason why, but I have a theory. And these, like I said, my sunflowers along the fence, they're doing well, they're growing up, they're coming up. These are the, the giant ones that get the heads at like two feet across and all. So we shall, or the mammoth they call them, or no, titan, excuse me. I got to get the names correct. These are called titans. Um... And their heads, the seed pods get anywhere between 18 and 24 inches across. And that's the edible sunflower seeds. So there you go. But 
my theory on the seeds is this. I've been watching what I plant to see what does best as far as seeds are concerned and who I buy seeds from. And I'm not really liking the germination rate of a particular brand of seeds. And I'm going to drop name drop now. And it might just be my soil that's the issue. I do not know. But I've noticed there are certain brands. Now, I did some heirloom varieties this year that did really well. But they weren't seeds from these particular brands that I'm going to name. The ones I'm having problems with are the over-the-counter seeds you can buy, like at King Supers or, or Walmart or anything. Burpee seeds. They have been very, very lackluster, if non-existent, in their germination this year. And that's what these yellow zucchini are. And I planted all these zucchini at the same time. Yet, those don't even look like they're ready to do anything. Those are burpee. And these are three-year-old gurney seeds. These were brand new, bought this year. These, like I said, are three-year-old. And they do just, they're doing phenomenal. So, not quite sure what's going on with that. Uh, under these circumstances for this year, I will no longer be buying burpee seeds. I will buy my seeds from an heirloom seed company, or I will buy gurney seeds. I've always had good luck with gurney seeds, but burpee seeds just here lately just i don't know what's going on with them i when i first started growing burpee seeds were fine but they don't work well with a crap anymore those were just some random cherry tomato seeds and those plants were like this big when i planted them and they're doing well and all my peppers all my pepper seeds are from heirloom seed companies and they're doing boffo at the box office here and so and then also, some of my herbs this year were uh, burpee seed herbs. This there, nothing. See? Just weeds. Um, if anybody can tell me what's going on with this rhubarb, please tell me. I This thing is weird. It's like one day it's working great, and the other day it looks like it's trying to die on me. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the thing is root-bound, and I need to get it out of that barrel. The asparagus, I think, is the same issue because I just keep getting ferns. I don't get any edible product. And this root stock is five years old. I should be getting uh, asparagus to eat out of that now. Basil's doing great. That was a, a different particular seed company. Same thing with my thyme, different seed company. My tarragon, that was for, started from one plant, one little plant, about maybe about 8, 10 inches tall. And it's grown into this massive monster plant. <laughs> I need to find a way to clone this so I can sell stock off of this. And then, of course, my uh, chives. I just let them reseed every year and not look like a big bucket of grass. But, and then this here, uh, more burpee seed. Nothing. This was burpee seed, too. This is parsley, and yeah, it's not really doing so hot. And this was some old cilantro seed, but it was not burpee. It was something, I don't remember, it's some off-brand, and it's doing just fine. It's supposed to be a no-bolt variety, but it's not coming up near as fast as I expected it. So, that's the update on what's going on in the garden. Have a good week, or have a nice weekend. See ya.